In this video, I'm going to show you how you can plot a stress strain curve in Excel. So we're going to start by looking at the data that we've got. We've got some load data and we've got some extension data. And the extension data comes from simply the difference between the original length and the extended length. So the first thing we have to calculate is the strain. And then we're going to do that by just selecting this column here. Then we're going to press equals. Strain is defined as your extension divided by your original length. So I'm selecting the original length here. We want to have the original length staying the same. So we are always referencing that same cell. So what you can do, and this is a really great little tip for working with Excel, is you've pressed the button F4. So we've got H2, and then we have after it the flashing cursor. So we press F4, and what it will do is it will put in those dollar signs, and that will mean that it will always be referencing exactly cell H2. So as I pull this down, it's not going to change the position. So we'll press Enter, and that will calculate it. Here, obviously, we're getting zero. I'm going to drag this all the way down, and you'll notice that it's still always referencing cell H2, even though the number on B is changing. We then need to find the stress, and stress is going to be our load divided by the cross-sectional area. And again, I'm going to select here. I'm going to press button F4 so it ensures that I'm always referencing the right cell. Then I'm going to take this and then pull it all the way down, and that will give me all of the data that I need. So I've now got the stress and strain data, which I can use to plot the curve. So to actually plot the graph, I need to select the correct type of chart. And this is where people go wrong. If you try drawing a scatter graph and then doing a trend line, it won't work very well. Or if you try doing a line graph, you'll get a terrible result. So we want to choose the correct one. So we're going to select off this, then press Insert. And then this option here is where we've got Insert Scatter. So we select this. And then you could use either this one, which is a scatter with smooth lines and shows all of the markers. Or you could choose this one if you just want smooth lines and you're not bothered about showing the marker. So I'm going to select this one here. We have to add the data. So if you press your right click and then go down to where it says select data. And we've got this button here that says add. So we press that and it'll open up here. So we want to start by naming the series. So if you press this arrow here and I'm just going to select stress strain curve, my title here, and then just press the down button. Then we're going to select this one here, and this is our X series data. So we're going to select all the strain, make sure your strain is on the X, then press down arrow, and then I want to select all of the Y data. So we're going to have stress on the Y, and then when I press down, it'll plot it, and then OK, and then OK again. There's a few things you can do to tidy this up. So we'll notice that the data is really stopping before 1.2. So what I want to do is get rid of all this here. So I might select this axis down here and then right click. And so I want to go to the option that says format axis. And this will give me all these different options. Say you want to change the unit, you want it to go up in point ones, or you want to add some other grid lines, you might want to format your major and minor axes. For here, I'm just going to change this number and go to 1.2, press enter. And then if I close that, and then the next thing you might want to do is to add some axes labels and a lot of the functions have been hidden quite well here so if you press the plus this will give you all sorts of other options to add some other things to your graph so i might want to select axis titles and then here i might have one title for strain and then i might put on this one stress and my stress is going to come out in mpa and you close the bracket. So there is a basic stress strain curve plotted in Excel. The key is to use the right function for the chart. So its reminder is just this one, and then choosing one of these two, depending on whether you want to show your points or not. So I hope this video has helped you, and you can now plot a stress strain curve. If it has, please check out my other videos on an analyzing stress strain curves, and like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.